Hello everyone and welcome back to Timigate. Today I am going to be talking about Microtik Capsman. Capsman stands for Controlled Access Point System Manager. So the lab I'm going to be working on today, it's about uh, or it involves when you have a Microtik um, device, I have a Microtik router that I want to use as the Capsman. And I have two Microtik wireless access points, also known as CAP AC devices. So I have got them uh, here. And sorry, I should have this as uh, this. And here. And what I want to do is to have two SSIDs on two different VLANs go into these um, APs. So on these APs, I am going to have the first uh, SSID as TMG. And the second SSID will be TMG guest. same thing here i'm going to have tmg then i'm going to have tmg guest so this is the ideal configuration for your office you have your primary ssid for your staff and then you have a secondary ssid for the guest now this configuration will involve me setting up ips dhcp servers for the two ssids so on the capsman the configurations are going to be entered and pushed all the way down to the caps the caps are going to be configured in caps mode such that once they are plugged to the network they will be discovered by the capsman here who is going to go on to adopt them or otherwise provision them so the router that i have here is an rob uh, 750 and i'm using my eta1 as my connection to my isp and I'm going to set that interface in DHCP mode to acquire IP address as well as default route and DNS addresses from my service provider. And the remaining interfaces here, which are port two to port five, I'm going to bridge them and configure my um, VLANs on that bridge interface. So without wasting much time, let's jump into the configuration proper. So I'm currently logged into my Microtik ROB750 router. The first thing I want to do is to name the device. So I'm naming the device Capsman. You can name yours anything you want to name it. Then I'm going to configure my Ether1 interface as a DHCP client so that it can go ahead to acquire an IP from my service provider. As you can see, I have gotten an IP. Okay, now on ETA1, I have an IP via DHCP. So if I go to uh, my IP route, you can see that I have a gateway, which points me to my ISP. At this point, I want to confirm that I have access to the internet. Okay, so, now having done that uh, let me confirm that i have a bridge i have a bridge from my default configuration and you can see that port 2 to port 5 are parts of that bridge 
so the next thing i want to do is to create my vlans i'm going to be using two vlans for this lab vlan 21 and the, the interface that the vlan is attached to is the bridge interface okay so i didn't create a bridge interface because there was a bridge from default configuration otherwise i would have created the bridge myself so the next vlan is vlan 22 and it is also attached to the bridge interface now i'll apply and okay it so at this point i have two uh vlans so the next thing i want to do is to apply to uh, assign ips to the vlan interfaces that i have just created now so you can see that i'm assigning 21.1 to vlan to vlan interface 21 and then 22.2 slash 24 to the vlan interface uh 22 apply and okay so on my device i have got three ips one is the one ip and i've got two ips for the two vlans that i have the next thing i'm going to be doing at this point is to set up dscp servers for users on those vlans so the first dscp server is for vlan 21 users okay so it's quite easy to set up dscp server the dns ips we are gotten dynamically okay from my isp so the next is for vlan 22 you choose the interface and just click away okay that's the beautiful thing about um the microtech router os so now i have got the dscp servers configured for the two vlans okay so the next thing i want to do is just uh to check that i have not configured the NAT configuration here came with the default configuration. Otherwise, I would not have been able to get to the internet when I pinged uh, the Google DNS IP. So I'm just checking, and you can see that um, the one interfaces that were referenced in the NAT configuration, the in interface list, you can see the LAN and the one interfaces here. Eta1 is on the one interface, and the bridge is the LAN interface. So I'm going to head on to Capsman and there in Capsman, the first thing you want to do is to enable the manager, the Capsman manager. So by doing that, you are telling this device that I'm promoting you to be a Capsman so you can manage the APs on this network. So after doing that, you want to create a security profile. So for this lab, I'll be creating two security profiles because I'm going to be having two SSIDs. So the first is for uh, VLAN 21, and you can see the authentication type is WPA and WPA2. Encryption is AES, CCM, and then I'm putting on my pass phrase. After doing that, I'm going to create for the next uh, VLAN or SSID, which is for vlan 22 if you don't want to do it this way you can actually use one security profile for multiple ssids but that's the security breach you don't want your guest knowing the um, security password the, the passphrase rather to your staff uh, network okay so that's the reason why i am creating two security profiles here so after you have created your security profile the next thing that I would want to do is to go on and configure my data part. So here on data part is not much that I'm going to be doing here. So I will name the first one data part for VLAN 21. I will choose my interface as the bridge interface. And then I'm going to say use tag because I'm pushing uh, multiple VLANs down the trunk port. Okay, so I will do for the second one, which is for VLAN 22. The same thing, but the VLAN will be different, VLAN 22, and you apply and okay it. Now that I have uh, created my data part, I'll move on to uh, configuration. This is where the wireless parameters will be entered. Give it a name. So this is going to be for VLAN 21. 
and then I'm going to set my mode as AP, that's access point. Otherwise, you won't see your SSID. Then I'm setting my SSID. The first SSID is TNG. The distance is indoor. The country, I'm not using any country, but you are strongly advised to choose your country. Installation is indoor. Channel, I'm not doing channel at this point. Otherwise, I would have created my channels before coming here. So the device here can choose the channels automatically. Choose your data path. Choose your security profile. Apply and OK. Click next uh, to add for the second one. Here, I'm going to name it VLAN 22. OK, the mode is AP. And then the SSID here will be TMG underscore guest. Remember, we are going to be pushing two SSIDs to our APs. So, having done that, the distance is going to be indoors. And then the country, I'm not setting any country. Installation is indoor as well. No channel because I wanted to do it automatically. Choose the uh, data part for VLAN 22 and then also security profile for VLAN 22. Those two parameters were created earlier. Apply and OK. So next is provisioning. Allow any device to connect by leaving the uh, MAC address at 000. Action, create dynamic enable. Choose your master configuration and slave configuration. Choose your name format, apply and OK. If you go to radio, you will see the four radios. Each AP has two radios. If you go to remote cap, you will see your connected APs. Click on provision to provision them. At this point, if you go to cap interface, you will see the cap interfaces. I have two caps and each cap has two radios. Okay, so at this point, if I scan for wireless access point, on my laptop i should be able to see tmg and tmg guest so at this point i am trying to connect to tmg so upon a successful uh, connection to tmg if i go to the registration tab i should see my device that it is currently connected to tmg which is cap two okay and the radio is radio two which is the five gigahertz if i check my ip on my local computer i should see that i am on vlan 21 hence the 21.254 and my gateway is 21.1 at this point i'm testing reachability to the internet by pinging to gmail.com and good enough i can open my website timigate.com which shows that we have access to the internet via tmg so let's connect to tmg guest i'm entering my passphrase and uh, upon a successful connection i should be able to have ip from 22.0 network so good enough i have been assigned 22.254 that is what my device has been assigned to. So if I go to the registration tab, I can see that I am on TMG underscore guest and I also have access to bbc.com. So this shows that both APs are working and my device can connect to any of them. So um, I will try to connect my phone to uh, TMG just to show that we can have devices connected to the two exercises concurrently. So um, I've scanned from my phone and as you can see, my phone is currently connected to TMG while my laptop that I'm using for this recording is also connected to the network but the SSID that it is connected to is TMG underscore guest. So this is what you need if you want to segment your network by having multiple SSIDs for some guests 
and for your staff if you find this video interesting please do not forget to like share and drop your comment below you can also help us grow this channel by subscribing to it and by getting your friends to also subscribe to it do not forget to turn up your post notification so you can get notified whenever we drop new content thank you for being an ardent member of this community and please stay on the lookout for more videos see you in our next video